Namaste. I just thought I would make some quick comments on the latest uh, Trump <laughs> video that's uh, come out. And uh, unbelievable that he's got women that are still defending him and having to nerve to say, well, that was, you know, 11 years ago and uh, he was not running for president then. I don't care if he was running for president or not then. Do they not get that this goes to the basic character and morality of this man? Or, more importantly, the lack thereof. Okay? Anybody that says, hey, I'm a star, I'm famous, I've got money. It gives me the right to just go grab a woman by the crotch. I can go grab her. I can kiss her. I can do whatever I want. They'll let me do whatever because I'm rich. I got a name. So if you think that if he becomes president, that he's going to have any less of an ego? Now, any man that says something like that is an egomaniac. He's a pervert, a predator. Okay? And he has not changed his ways. At that point, when he said that, he'd been married to Melania for eight months. And he's bragging how he tried to get some married woman in bed. She wasn't having it. Didn't stop him from trying. Okay? Bragging about it. And to say it's just locker talk. Well, I don't care. Not every man is going to stoop to that level with that kind of BS talk. I don't care what he tries to do at this point. It shows the basic lack of character of this man and thinking he's above it. And he can do whatever he damn well pleases and get away with it. Okay? Is this really a man that you want as the president of the free world? The leader of the free world. This says, hey, I'm the leader of the free world. I'm important. I can go walk up and grab any woman's crotch I want. Okay? I'm big man on campus. Gives me the right. Okay? And if you think that's not the way he's going to think, think again. Think again. Now they go after Clinton. Yes, okay, Clinton had some affairs. But they actually said Clinton had raped 17 women. Really? No. Uh, again, Trump camp will make up any lie. Trump gets caught absolutely gets caught with the words coming out of his own mouth and they'll spin a lie. They'll make up a lie. Well, Hillary, what Hillary, but whatever Hillary's husband did has nothing to do with her. Do you hear Hillary say, man, that guy looks good. I think I want to go up and grab him. Let me see what he's got for a package first before I talk to him. Really? <laughs> I want to check out, check out the package first. Really? How low would that be? Okay? So I don't care what type of excuse the Trump supporters are trying to make for Trump. And if they actually can sit there and say, oh, it's okay, then right. They are the deplorables. Okay? No morality, no morals whatsoever. And I don't know about you, but this is not a man I want as the leader of the free world. One that's got the morals of an absolute alley cat. One that gets up in the middle of the night and has to Twitter endlessly. Okay? One that can't be called on anything 
whatever he does, he justifies it. Okay? Like he said, I could stand out in the middle and shoot somebody. Wouldn't matter. And this man actually thinks that way. If you think he doesn't, think again. Everything that's come out about him points in that direction 100%. Okay? This man is not a statesman. Okay? He's not even a good businessman. He doesn't have the money he says he does. He's failed at business again and again and again. He brags about using other people's money. He makes money when he goes bankrupt. Okay? Is this the way he's going to run the economy of the U.S.? Who's going to bail out if he tries to bankrupt the U.S.? There are no bankruptcy policies that can bail him out when he tries to bankrupt the U.S. That, that failed logic does not work for this. Okay? So people think long and hard. Those that are actually Trump supporters. Okay? Look at what you're doing. You cut off your nose to spite your face. Okay? You don't want a woman president. Yes, Hillary's made some mistake. She's been in politics a very long time, most of her life. Anybody's bound to make some mistake, and you'll find some dirt somewhere if you've been in working with the public sector that long. Okay, I guarantee it. <laughs> okay, and she's come out and apologized for what she's done wrong. And learned the lesson and said, I would never do that again. He doesn't apologize for anything, ever. And the fact that when this video came out, this soundbite clip, if anyone was offended, if, I apologize, if anyone, really, who in their right mind would not be offended? The fact that he thinks if, then he thinks the world is as morally corrupt as he is. Think about that. Think about what this man is actually like. Okay, the ends justify the means. I'll do whatever, say whatever to get what I want, and then I will give you the one finger salute because he plans on being dictator. He has absolutely no clue what being presidential is, what it takes, and how the system works, okay? Not, not one clue. I will leave that <clears throat> here for now. Must have a great evening. Bye. Talk to you later.